were the unmended, the untended, cold soldiers of the shoe, were the neglected, the never resurrected agonies of the few, were the once kissed, unmissed, and always refused, because were the unfinished, and feared, and were never pursued. House of Leaves gained him a loyal fan following. Mark Z. Danielewski joins us today to present his fascinating new novel. Please tell us what Only Revolutions is about. It's about two kids who are perpetually 16, who give up everything around each other, except each other, uh, in a bid to outrace history. You keep Sam and Haley, the main characters in your story, forever 16. It's a state of mind, a state of heart. I realized perhaps where I was in my life that I could still recall vividly what it was like to be 16. Your parents don't get it, your friends don't get it. We've had that feeling, that crush, that intense emotional attachment that really sort of tilts the earth on its axis. You structure your book in a very unusual way. I started with paper and pencil and I wrote Haley's story out and I wrote Sam's story out. And then I realized that these two texts had to exist in the same book and I didn't know yet if they would be uh, chapter, 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 on different pages, on both sides of the page. I realized that they would actually be told from both ends of the book, so that you could experience how they were far apart, they came close together, met in the middle, uh, had their most sort of intimate, balanced part of their relationship, and then moved apart. Um, and as soon as I discovered that, then I really understood the cyclical nature of their relationship, their relationship to themselves, their relationship even to uh, nature and history. Uh, consequently, it had this circular quality, and that's why it ends up being 360 pages with exactly 360 words per page, with exactly 36 lines per text per page. So for me, you know, designing that was, was, was part of the was part of telling their story. You know, I don't believe you could have told the story any other way. The idea of Sam and Haley came first, and then came this idea of how the page was laid out, and then, then came sort of the music of their particular words, and their adventure, and their feelings, and, and that started to shape their relationship to history, how, in, how history influenced them. All of those things began to play out on the page. It became the thing that is now portable and holdable. <laughs> it's read eight pages one way and... You read eight pages of Haley and then you flip it over and you read eight pages of Sam. Your fans have been heavily involved in the creation of this book. What I wanted to do is open it up to the people that I'd met, many people just around me on the road, as well as those those people who participate in the, in the in forums devoted to House of Leaves. And, and I asked for their favorite historical moment in the last, over the last 200 years, as well as their favorite personal uh, historical moment. And all of those moments, or as many as I could, were, were poured into the, the historical columns in the book. You've been quoted as saying that you want to create a book that can't exist online. We read differently than we, when we read on the page. We read a little more quickly. We tend to skim. We can't tend to look at the borders to click on other things. You know, the way we focus is, is different. And it's also two-dimensional, whereas Only Revolutions is three-dimensional. I'm not really sure what I've done, but I know that this book had to be written. I know that in some ways, I think, you know, what kept me th through that whole process uh, was Sam and Haley, because they meant so much to each other, they meant so much to me.